What if I told you that you can edit reels like a pro with just this 10 minutes of this YouTube video? All I need is 10 minutes of your time and I will show you how to edit like a pro in DaVinci Resolve. Okay, perfect. Now that I got you, now that I got you, I'm gonna show you guys how to do exactly just that. But before we jump into this video, if you are new here, my name is Ryan and I help other editors get better in DaVinci Resolve where you can get things like the starter bundle and the whole entire store bundle with the link down in the description. And one more thing before we get into this video, if you are serious about learning how to become a pro video editor and you can get mentored by me personally with one-to-one -one calls and we're going to fast track your way there there's only two spots to even get mentored by me personally so go click a link for that and go apply for that down below but without further ado guys with all the promotions out of the way now i'm gonna show you guys how to edit like a pro and davinci resolve in 10 minutes so i'm gonna show you guys from start to finish how i'm going to be editing a video in here in davinci resolve so the first things first what i'm going to do to get my footage back to normal is we're gonna go over to the edit page and we're gonna utilize something called the gallery and go to power grades, right? So what I have here is a simple power grade that just transitions my footage back to normal. And the way you could do this is by making a power grade just like this and going to power grades and double clicking and hitting grab still. So get a color grade that you wanna use and use a grab still and it will show up in your power bins. Now, if you want, you can go ahead and apply a LUT with my LUTs down in the description with those packs as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what that looks like before and after. So if we hit Command F, you can see what my LUT is able to do to this footage and before and after, et cetera. So now we're gonna go back to the edit page. So the next thing we're gonna do is utilize what's called shortcuts. So for me, I have the slash button as cut and then I use shift delete to bring my footage back to where it was previously. Now guys, this this effect right here, this, this tip right here alone is going to, if you utilize this tip, is going to save you hours of time editing alone, okay? So next thing you know, you're gonna be what going- if I told you that being You're gonna be editing this video. Isn't as easy as it seems. So we're gonna cut it there, we're gonna hit the space bar, and then we're gonna hit slash shift delete, and it's gonna bring my footage back to normal just like that. Just so for this example, we're gonna do about 20 seconds of the footage. So the first thing, now what we're gonna do, now we have it cut up, we have everything we need, we have it pout, we have it color graded, we have it cut up, now we need to get to the actual editing part. And we've only been a minute into the process already, so we already have it cut up, we already have it color graded, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna utilize what's called the power bends. So in order to get power bins, you have to go to the three lines and make sure your show power bins is even gonna be there. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna be able to just, as you grow as a video editor, you're gonna be able to get more and more and more bins, okay? So for me, I have effects. So what I did for an effect is I grabbed what's called a hold out animation. And what I did was I essentially made this animation to where it zooms out just like that. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do that. So what you're gonna do is grab an adjustment clip you're gonna make it 50 frames long and cut it just there. What you're gonna do now is go into the Fusion page with that adjustment clip, and we're gonna hit Shift Space, and we're gonna search for a transform node. What this transform node is gonna let us do is just gonna let us play with the footage, okay? So we're gonna just zoom in on the size to about two-ish, and we're gonna hit a keyframe, and we're gonna go all the way till the end of this, and we're just gonna reset it back to one. Now, if we play this through, it's just a what slow animation, just like that. But we want, we want to make it look better, right? So we're going to make sure our spline is open all the way up here. And we're going to go to this zoom to fit button. And we're going to see a linear graph. A linear is just a straight line just like this. We, want, we don't want it linear, okay? So we're going to hit Command A. And we're going to double click and go to Ease. And we're going to go to Out Cubic. What if I told That's you going to smooth the animation out for us. And if we want to make it look even more smooth, we can go over to the settings and just apply some simple motion blur. Turn the quality up to about 6 or so. So now you have this animation that you can just reuse on every single video by simply dragging and dropping it into your effects page, just like so. So for me, I'm gonna delete it because I already have it there, but that's how I got that. I'm just showing you guys how power bins work. Now you could take these effects that I'm about to teach you and put them in your power bins and reuse them for all of the other videos that you are going to edit. So now what we're gonna do is create a hook. So in order to create a hook, we need some sort of text here. So I say what what if I told you? What if I told you that being a freelance? So I'm gonna do what? What it's like being a freelancer in 2025, just like so. And essentially, we're gonna just make this as quick as possible and make it look as best as possible. So obviously, it looks like straight booty cheeks right now. But what we're gonna do to make this look better is do everything in the Fusion page and create a really good hook in the Fusion page. So 
we're gonna utilize something called the character level styling. So if we double click in this box and we're gonna go to character level styling, we're gonna be able to go over to modifiers. So I'm gonna highlight all of this and I'm gonna change the font to a font that I use often. So something like Gotham Ultra, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make Freelancer a different text by doing like Extenda 40 Hecto. And I'm just gonna scale up Freelancer like this so that way you can kind of get a gist of what we're doing here. So, so I'm gonna use line spacing to kind of show you that you can use line spacing as uh, kind of just to move these all closer. So we're gonna move this one closer, what it's like being a Freelancer in 2025. So here's the thing guys, we're gonna do just 2025 and I'm gonna go ahead and do clash variable display and I'm gonna go ahead and do it on like regular really thin text font and now as you can see this this title right here is already looking way better than it did before like if we go and look at it what it looked like before it looked like straight cheeks so now we're gonna go to the layout and bring it like right here and what we can do we can change up the color but honestly I like it just as is okay so now we're gonna go to effects and we're gonna scroll all the way down until we see pre animate v2 guys now this is one of the most powerful plugins that DaVinci Resolve has to offer and actually it's made by me and you can find it with the link in the description but essentially we're gonna use up down I'm gonna show you guys exactly what this looks like so there's no animations on it we're gonna apply it to our text and as you can see it's going to animate for us just like this it's actually such a saucy plug-in and it's going to animate up for you just like that and also it's going to wiggle around and also it is now not only going to do that but it's going to animate down for you as well saving you hassle from any sort of animation so that's what i'm going to be using and then i'm going to go to the essential overlays pack which is in the starter pack bundle and we're going to go ahead and grab just like a simple vert transition and we're gonna put this into the middle of our clip and you can really use just any sort of screen transition, right? Let's just... And then you just have that transition. Now we're gonna go to my sound effect pack and go ahead and grab a tape cassette effect that's in the pack. This is my favorite sound effect in the pack. We're gonna turn it down and turn the A2 to track mono. So now... Let's just sit... Let's... Let's see if we turn this up. Let's just... Let's just... Just like that, now it sounds super saucy and icy, right? Just say you get your dream clients, you get all the clients that you want, and you're making that 10K as a freelance client. You get all the clients that you want, and you're making that, that 10K as a freelance video editor. And let's just say one of those clients out of the 10 clients that you want, and you're making that at 10, and you're making that, and you're making so now we're gonna do what I like to call a text sequence. So you guys thought I was done giving the sauce there, but this is just gonna conclude the video. So we're gonna do what's called a text sequence. So I'm gonna go ahead and do clash variable display. And I want you guys to stay with me here because I'm going to go sort of fast. So I'm gonna do making that 10K as a free, making that 10K. So we're gonna do making that 10K. So making that 10K. So just three, so we're gonna hold option and drag up to where it says three times. So we're gonna do making, and then that, and then for this one, we're actually gonna do something a little different. So we're just gonna deactivate that for now. So making, making that 10, okay, that. So 10, okay, just like so, okay, so. Making that 10. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna size this up right here, and we're going to put this making right there to the left-ish. And I'm gonna to go to the layout of that, size this one up just a little bit as well. And we're gonna bring this one down right there, just like that. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the color of that to like a beige gray. I kind of like, like something like that probably. That tint. And then for this, we're going to bring it down like so. And we're gonna go into the Fusion page and we're gonna create a, an expression. So I'm gonna go pretty quick on this. So we're gonna go to the template and double click. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go do edit controls. We're gonna name a new control and we're gonna call it counter. Then under the user for page, we're just gonna do text and we're gonna go from zero to 10K. So if you just do a thousand and then add a zero, that's 10K. And then we're just gonna do slider control and hit okay. Now in the description, you're gonna find some code and that's what you're gonna use. So we're gonna double click and go to expression and you're just gonna copy that code into this little text box right here. And as you can see, we're gonna now have just have a zero. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the prefix and we're probably just going to add a money sign like so. And then that way now we have a money sign. And if we scroll down, we're gonna have a counter control right here. So. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit a keyframe and I'm gonna go all the way to the end and we're just gonna turn it to 10K, just like so. So now if we go ahead and play this through, we have a counter that just goes to 10K, just like that. 
So that's all we Making need. that 10K. Okay. But not done there, so we're just gonna size it up just like so. And I really do like it right there. I really do. So making that 10k, making that 10k. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna animate all of this. So I'm gonna go to the fusion page with making and we're gonna do a transform, like I said. And I'm just gonna go over just a little bit, just a little bit. And we're gonna hit a keyframe, and I'm gonna go like 24 frames forward, and we're gonna go back to 0 0.5, and we're gonna hit zoom to fit, command A. Double click, ease out cubic, settings, motion blur, quality all the way up. I know it's a hard expression to do, but making that 10, making, making that. But it's it's worth it, okay? So now we're gonna go to that, and we're gonna do something very similar. So we're gonna do transform, and we're gonna go down, and we're gonna hit a keyframe, and we're gonna go about right there. We're gonna go 0 0.5 again, zoom to fit, all this stuff, guys, super simple animations that you guys can do so now if we'll put making that 10 making that okay looks really nice so i'm gonna hit a compound clip on this that i'm gonna turn the opacity down and hit a keyframe and go one two three and then go back up so now if we do the same thing with this one we don't need to do making it for that. that 10k at, at 10. okay and then we're gonna do we're gonna do something with the 10k as well so we're just gonna hit a transform after and we're just gonna go to the left actually instead and we're gonna hit a keyframe and we're gonna go like this and go back to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, not negative five. Motion blur, the quality all the way up, zooming to fit. Make sure the template counter is unselected and then hit Command A, double click, ease out cubic. So now if we go ahead and play this through, we can go ahead and make it a new compound clip, turn the opacity down, one, two, three, four. Making that 10K as a free, that 10k making okay. that 10k so now we have that done and now guys to tie this all together what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and go to timeline and create subtitles from audio and we're just going to do eight subtitles just like so now we're just going to let davinci resolve obviously this is a paid version option available here but you're just going to let davinci resolve do its thing and create the captions for you and that is going to literally just take it to a whole new level is this caption generation. So obviously we're gonna cut out the captions we don't need, so I don't need it right there. Let's just say you get your, and you're making. So now we don't, obviously we don't need that making that 10K. Yeah. And then we're gonna do as a, just like. Just as a freelance video editor. And let's just say one of those clients. Okay, cool. What if I told you that being a freelancer isn't as easy as it seems? Let's just say you. Okay, cool. So now we're gonna go to snap captions and add this to our master bin and go to workspaces and go to script comp snap captions. And we're gonna have a lot of different options to choose from just because these are the options that I was able to make. But I'm just gonna do like some simple YouTube and go to lowercase. Now guys, if you wanna know how to do snap captions, I can make a whole separate video on it, but it is a completely free plugin made by a really dope dude who does DaVinci Resolve things. And you can find his page on YouTube and go install this thing right now for free. But it's very hard to do and hard to install. But once you get it installed, it's so worth it. Because now I'm just going to generate simple YouTube captions. Let's just say you... And now I have this little text plus. And if I want to just use move them all at once, I can just group them at once and just size it up just like so. It's your dream clients. You get all the clients that you want. And you're making that 10K as a free... And guys, that is pretty much going to conclude how to edit like a pro in DaVinci Resolve with reels in under 10 minutes. I hope this was around 10 minutes. I don't know. But just, it literally takes 10 minutes with my preset packs. But guys, honestly, if you want to skip the hassle of literally clicking on hundreds of YouTube videos and learning nothing from it in the first place, and you leave the YouTube video with little to no knowledge, then stop waiting and click the link in the description and apply and book a call with me to see if you're a good fit to get mentored by me personally. Guys, Guys, this isn't something that's free, but if you really want to fast track your way and become a pro video editor, then this is the way. Like, this is the way to become a pro editor because I'm only taking two spots this month in the first place. So, guys, I can't stress, stress it enough. I've had countless successful students in the program, and I want you guys to be the next one. But, guys, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.